Hey friends, Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services and today I wanted to talk about a tool that I use all the time and uh, that is the Milwaukee 12 amp Sawzall. Um, I absolutely love this thing. Um, I'm going to tell you guys in this video why I like it, why I chose it, and uh, just what I love about it, some of the features. Um, so first off, one of, the, one of the main reasons why I love it is because it's a Milwaukee. Um, Milwaukee for me is just, they have made great products that are really very heavy duty. Um, I really like, you know, just the feel of them, the operation of them, everything. I mean, I have thrown this guy around so many times, not saying that you, you should throw, throw your tools around, you should definitely respect your tools, but it, this thing has definitely withstood um, a lot of pressure that I put on it and really done everything that I've needed it to do. So, um, when I first got started as a handyman, before I went full time, my first demolition job, um, I needed a sawzall. Um, and I actually borrowed my stepdad's sawzall. He had a, um, I think it was a Makita sawzall, and I liked it. Uh, it was great, but uh, that was really my first glimpse into that a handyman needs a sawzall for sure. I mean, they have so many different applications in the handyman business. Um, and so when it was time that I needed one for after I went full time, um, I had enough money to buy the top of the line. So uh, on tools, when, when, I, when I need them and I have the money to do it, I always buy the, the top of the line or the max that I can afford at that time. And for this, I was so happy that it was a, a Milwaukee. Um, some of the first tools that I bought was this uh, Sawzall and then also a circular saw by Milwaukee as well. Um, I really like this thing. One thing that really got me on this rather than like the Makita, which what my set that let me borrow, um, was it has this, this interlock um, to put a new blade on. So the Makita, it has a, it has a, you know, you put an Allen wrench in the side of it and tighten it and to tighten the blade down. I really like this thing because it's like a quick, a quick lock. If, if you guys can see that, you just turn this and you put the, you put the saw blade in there and it just holds it in there. So when you want to remove it, you just turn it, you know, 90 degrees and you pull it out. Um, it's very nice to have a uh, very smooth operation. Um, and it really withstands everything I need. So again, this is the Milwaukee 12 amp, 120 volt um, Sawzall, uh, number 6519. Um, I've had this thing for a little while now, and it, it's never failed me. It's always been able to do the jobs uh, that I need to do. Another big thing about a, a Sawzall is you wanna get the right kind of blade for it. Um, there's a lot of cheap blades out there that are just gonna you know, die instantly. Uh, the ones that I would highly recommend are uh, Diablo blades. I really like them. Uh, they've really done everything I've needed them to do. I think I bought this this tool because um, I think my first um, my first door that I installed a pre-hung door. Um, you know, I went through and I unscrewed all the screws and removed all the nails by hand and everything. And then I was watching uh, watching someone do it, um, and they just simply took a sawzall and they just ran it down both sides and the top and just simply cut all the screws and the nails. And I'm like. That is so awesome. Like that's such a time saver and it's pretty fun by the way. Um, so on my next uh, pre-hung door that I had to do, I went out and bought this puppy and oh man, it's really is a time saver. And that's really uh, when you know you got a good tool is when it's not only like worth it, but it saves you money. I mean, this thing saves you money and makes you money because it does things way quicker and it's just super awesome to have. So now I keep this thing in my trailer, in my tool trailer at all times. I mean, if you guys haven't seen I have a bunch of a bunch of videos on my tool trailer itself and kind of how I how I carry all my tools so you guys can check that out on this channel as well. In fact, I'll try and link it up here and um, up here for you to see as well. But I keep this thing with me all the time. I've used it on tons of different applications. Um, you know, especially like fences. Whenever I do fences now, this is my go-to deal. I mean, you got to replace a um, you know rotten fence post. This works great for you know, cutting the nails in between the fence post and the fence boards. That way you don't have to disassemble the whole thing. You just, you know, you just put a two by four on it to, to hold it secure and then just cut it out and then you remove the post all by itself. Uh, you don't have to do anything else. So this really is a time saver. Um, so if you guys don't have a Sawzall, I would highly recommend this Milwaukee 12, 12, uh, 12 amp Sawzall. I mean, this thing is great. Um, this is the corded version. Um, I think I want to get the the Milwaukee, um, uh, what are they called, the, the Sawzall, the, it's the M18 one, oh it's the Hacksaw, um, that thing looks pretty sweet, and I have a friend who's, who's used it and he has some good, uh, some good experience with it, but anyways, this is a great uh, Sawzall if you don't have one, 
Highly recommend it. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you guys can buy this Milwaukee Sawzall if you guys want to check that out. It's off Amazon. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a great day.